Good Friday, Reflection 11. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus replied, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 23, verses 39 to 43. A reflection by Philip North. A police station in North London. A priest is in the queue waiting to report a crime when suddenly the man in front turns and says, Can I talk to you? He tells the priest what he has done, an act that weighed deeply on his conscience, but was not a criminal offence. Yet he felt that reporting himself to the police was the only way to deal with the guilt. The priest starts to talk to him about other sources of forgiveness and other ways of dealing with the guilt. But what if I don't believe in God, the man asks. The priest looks blank. He is simply unable to answer the question. Without God, forgiveness is hard, if not impossible because it is not a human instinct. Human nature requires revenge, and so it struggles to forgive either others or itself. It is through the cross of Jesus Christ that we can know what it is to be forgiven and to forgive. As he hangs on the cross, Jesus forgives a criminal and the forgiveness he offers has authority because of the death that he is dying in that very moment. As Jesus offers his life to the Father, so he dies the death that we sinners deserve. Sin is defeated, and forgiveness comes flowing into the world. <clears throat> As he ministers to the criminal, so Jesus demonstrates that forgiveness is available to each one of us. If we turn to Jesus, sorry for what we have done, longing for a fresh start, the forgiveness will always flow from the cross. And as we receive forgiveness from him, so we are empowered to forgive others. And now a prayer. Lord Jesus, even in your deepest agony, you listened to the crucified thief. Hear us as we unburden to you our deepest fears. You spoke words of love in your hour of death. Help us to speak words of life to a dying world. To you, Jesus, who offer hope to the hopeless, be honour and glory with the Father and the Spirit, 
now and for ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. <laughs> 